Who do you want to be when you grow up? I always knew I had a passion for what I wanted to be. I loved to debate. I loved to argue. Growing up, that was really valued. My dad and I would scrap a lot. I wanted to be a lawyer. But I got pretty far, too. In my undergrad, I was pre-law. And then I found that the type of law I wanted to practice, I'd have to defend someone who's guilty. And that was a moral crisis. That just wasn't for me. And I was really upset about it. I was heartbroken. My advisor said, maybe you should study abroad, finish up some of your undergrad courses. And that made sense. So off I went to Lancaster, England. And that's where I discovered teaching. Now, I mean, that may sound naive and life ain't linear like that. It wasn't just a straight shot. There were other things that led me to teaching too, but that's essentially what did it. In England, I was in the international dorm. And what that was, was we had, uh, we were arranged in flats. We had single rooms, but we had to share a kitchen and two bathrooms. So in our flat in the international dorm, we had three Americans and three gals from Cyprus. And the three gals were studying to be teachers. So I learned a lot about teaching from hearing them and the things they were learning. One of the gals had a mother, well, they all had mothers, <laughs> but one of the gals was mother, Antigone, her mother was visiting and when she was visiting uh, she was stopping over to visit before another visit to her, her son in Texas of all places and while she was visiting she wanted to learn American English specifically Texan English of all things like it's a separate dialect um, Antigone since she knew I loved words asked you know, will you teach my mother Texas English, essentially? And I'm like, Lord, what a thing. Uh, but I agree, because I love words, and I love helping people out, and it became my favorite thing every day. Like, that's what I would look forward to. It, of all the things, it became better than my classes, better than anything. I would just kind of scuttle home from my classes, just kind of, out of the way, Brits. I gotta teach Antigone's ma English. Uh, I just remember that kitchen every night full of all of us just loud chatter just the chatter of like six women and there'd always be music so picture late 90s music and a mix of music like their music and our music so a lot of violent femmes you know when i'm walking i strut and stuff and you don't want to hear it uh, the smells of cooking so garlic and lemon oh heavenly and then antigone's mom she was a very classy lady so her hair and her makeup would be perfect and the best parts of teaching were teaching her and it really just it lit us both up because it was simple teaching but the best kind of teaching where you're figuring out what the student needs and just watching her eyes light up when I would teach her things and she would be excited like some of the historical things about Texas and I taught her that you know there's a lot of Spanish speaking people down there because we essentially stole it <laughs> so you're gonna have to learn simple Spanish and so we talked about that and I remember one day she said I'm being proud and she was so excited and that's when I knew that light in her eyes and how excited I was that's when I knew I knew I would live in poverty I would continue to live in poverty it's used to it but and it was worth it it was completely worth it um it was worth it for the love of words it was worth it for the joy that I experienced like helping her and looking things up that yeah it was just the joy the love of words, the look in her eyes, all of it. So that's when I decided that when I returned to the States, I would major in English education.